Border crossing. Everybody has heard about the controversy, whether it's about public health or whether it's about government control. We don't know the answer to that yet, but Bill Santos is joining me right now. He recently came back by car across the border into Canada from the United States, and it wasn't easy. No. Tell me about the experience, Bill. Well, you know what? At the booth, the uh, CBSA agent was wonderful. You know, asked all of the regular questions, um, and then asked me for my phone number. And I said, well, that's kind of strange because I've never had to give my, provide my phone number to enter Canada. Right. And he said, well, no, public health, you didn't fill out the Arrive Can app, and public health is asking us to do that. And they're here, and they're finding people that don't do the app. And I said, well, can I talk to someone at public health? And he said, yeah, he gave me my passport and my wife's, and he put a yellow card in. I didn't see what the yellow card had. And he said- It was something to do with soccer. Yeah, yellow maybe, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and he said, go, you know, just park over there, and public health will come out. And the public health officer came out and said, I gave them the passport. And she said, uh, so what's your status? And I said, well, here's my negative tests, two negative tests. She said, you can have to quarantine. I said, great, we'll quarantine. Where? I said, in my home, where is that? North Oshawa. What's the address? I said, well, like, what do you need the address for? You've got my passport. Exactly. <laughs> so if you go inside the building, punch my passport number in, I'm sure all of the information you need about me or my wife is available to you. She said, well, people tell us they're going to quarantine, but they lie. And I said, well, when you catch them lying, you should prosecute them. But do you have any reason to believe that I'm lying? And she didn't respond and went back into the building, came out with some tests, and more importantly- Tests for, after you had all the evidence yes, that you don't have COVID. Yeah, so you have to do a test the first day, for test the eighth day. And uh, I said, well, I thought, I thought we didn't have to do tests that involved introducing a foreign object into our body. And she said, okay, you don't want the test? She took the tests and handed us four summons. Uh, two summons each for you and your wife. Two summons each. Well, I, I saw them there, but more than almost $6,000 in fines for each of you. Each one of them. For what? For being for, inquisitive? Yeah, not providing what they said was relevant information. And uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't know what- So but from what, a public health point of view though, Bill, you gave them the evidence you and your wife have been tested a number of times, don't have COVID. Yes. You're coming here, you're saying, okay, I will have some rest for 14 yes, days. Exactly. And they still want all this information. Yeah. And did they come to your door? So 10 days in, Durham Regional Police knocked on my door, verified who we were and said, we're here following up on making sure you're quarantining. And I said, well, how'd you get my address? They said, got it from the border. I said, well, I thought I didn't provide my address. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been strange for us, man. Does it, does it strike you as a bit oppressive that the government and the agencies, whether it's public health or not, are just bearing yeah, down on this? You know, my wife and I felt that if we provided negative tests, I think we have an obligation to mitigate the amount of COVID spread in the country. No question. We yeah. provided the tests. We, we provided our passports. We said we will quarantine. We'll follow all the rules. I got the sense, it's my own personal opinion, that they wanted more. They, it, was, it was a little fishy. We're going to follow up on that. Bill Santos, thank you very, very thank much. Thank you. Three minutes. If you did not know that the Red Ensign, formerly Canada's flag, has now been labeled by the Canadian government a symbol of hate, and they're sending that to all the students, then press subscribe and PayPal and learn more.